Hello there. <laughs> I'm back here with my face and with my shitty talk again. Once again, I literally just grew so much love towards spontaneous shit that I do. A couple of days ago, I was just sitting in front of my computer and then for some reason I just wrote a short story and then I kind of drew it and kind of filmed it and kind of edited it and then kind of posted it to YouTube and I was like, that was kind of nice, that was kind of unexpected but really really nice. Today is this day, by the way. And by this day I mean the day when I do something that I haven't done. No, I actually had done that. <laughs> Almost a year ago I bleached my hair and then I thought that I will never bleach it again and then I thought that I will never color it again and everything like that. And then a year has passed, I got bored and I actually bleached it once again. So for the past year I've been kind of like experimenting with a hair color and all this time, throughout all this time, this was a hair dye that does not really damage your hair because you use it with the conditioner so it doesn't really do any damage to your hair whatsoever. And the cons and also the pros of it kind of is that it really fades away real real quick. And for me it was a pros because I was trying out different colors, I was trying out like new looks and stuff. And I was searching for one that will suit me the best, the most. Once I've kind of figured it out, I thought that I will bleach it again and I will make a full head of this color. So without further ado, let's just do this shit here and now. What do we have here is the couple of conditioners. Why is it water on it? Hello? What are you doing here? Oh my god. I might reconsider using you. Okay, goodbye. Hello. I'm going to mix it in this bowl with the color. This is a Russian brand, I don't think you can find it wherever you live if it's outside from Russia, but it's, if you were from Russia it's called Tonika. It's really really cheap, really inexpensive. By far, this is my favorite brand that provides like different hair colors that are not traditional, that are not natural kind of way. So this is a pink shade and this is a purple, dark purple shade, which I'm going to add just a little bit, not so much because I'm not going for this exact color just yet. So what you want to do here is you want to use a lot of conditioner and not so much of a hair dye. And then you're going to mix it <laughs> and we're going to apply it. Oh, it actually ends up in quite nice color. So now we got our color and I just, just realized that I don't have my gloves on. If you give me a minute, if you excuse me, pardon me, sir, I'll see you in a minute. Booyah, I'm here. Here we go. I just noticed how uneven this is. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be real, real tough. Let me just remember how I put it last time. Oh my God, we did it. First spot. You just don't have to be afraid of things going wrong because if you fail at hair dye and shit it will be gone you will never get rid of it you think but no you actually will the new hair will grow back you can always use bleach and like change it or recolor it and everything like that it's gonna be fine like it's not a big deal that's what i learned last time when i was bleaching my hair really ruined it because after bleaching i went in and colored it with the wrong 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 hair dye it's been a long time i thought i will never fucking try it again and then here i was coloring my hair every month like new month new hair color and shit and it was great it was like it was really like nice and cool and everything, so... Oh my god, it's so yellow. It's so fucking yellow. Never mind, we didn't see that. We didn't, we didn't really see that, okay? I still don't regret doing that that time. Because if I haven't done that, I would never understand what my hair would look like blonde and stuff. And I really enjoyed the color that I had. I really enjoyed that blonde that I had, not the one that I have now. I really did enjoy 
multiple colors on my head. The pastel purple and then it was lavender color kind of. A couple of blue stripes in it which I really enjoyed as well. The pink one, a solid dark purple one. There were like a lot of colors in there. I don't really feel it. Oh, here it is. Oh my god, you're so orange. You're so fucking orange. God damn you, piece of hair. You here probably see all my mistakes, <laughs> but you gotta acknowledge that I don't. This is, by the way, the point that you can make mistakes, that you can actually make mistakes and you will not die if you do that. People make mistakes, people make shitty mistakes, people ruin their lives with their mistakes, but they're still alive eventually. I remember how panicking I was when I thought I lost my hair completely after the time that when I bleached them and I did a horrible mistake by putting a demi-permanent hair color over them. They didn't know it was a demi-permanent hair color, I just thought it was a toner and there was instruction for the toner but then I saw how the toner actually looks like and I was like, oh fuck. I done fucked up in there. Afterwards, I thought I will never repair this piece of hair, but look at them now. They are here, whatever left of them. It's here. And it's kind of nice. It's just, it has its color, it has its structure. They do them, you know. They just do them. I really have this strong feeling that it's not going to take in the color for some reason. Okay, I'm so sorry, my camera died. And that's pretty much how it looks like right now. Oh my god, it's looking real bright and real vibrant. Oh my god, a purple set of hair. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it all in the hair cap and I'm going to wait about 20 minutes or so. And then I will show you the final result. Hi. <laughs> This is the final result, as you can probably see here. The lighting is very bad, but still, you know, you're gonna see the bigger picture, kind of. It's like a cold purple that I was going for, kind of, but there also were some spots that didn't take the color quite much. Next time I color it, I'll probably go with the more purple and less pink and those yellow spots will be covered so yes so anyway thank you so much for watching <laughs> don't be afraid to make mistakes because even if you do make mistakes even if you end up with a couple of spots like that in the back of your head you can always come back and change it after it fades away a little bit you can change it and do it however the hell you want i'll see you in the next video bye